Martha here, Vintage Conversation. I have today a just a short unboxing of a few things that I have um, bought from some resellers in the community that I wanted to share with you. Some of them I've held on to for several months until I had, um, you know, what I wanted to open for you. So let me let me start with my my oldest one. Oh, and, and while I'm here, I want to um, apologize to you guys for our stream being so rudely interrupted So, from our live sale today, because this is the same day. So, as you, because you can see I still got items back here that didn't sell. And if you are interested in any of those, please go to um, my, either my Instagram account or the live sale video from today and you can comment that you would like one of them and I will make sure to um, redact those from the sale in the comments of either space. So this, these items here are two plates that I got from Beth, um, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. I'll just show you the one. I, so she, she wraps them up so nice. They have pink ribbon around them. And, a little goodie bag with the little stickers and little games and that's so sweet so and I will put everybody's links in the description but you will find Beth at uh, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties please make sure you go and visit her channel show her some love subscribe to her if you aren't already you will enjoy her and the things that she finds she also does creator chit chats besides her live sales that she has every now and then. Her Goodwill and Drifting Hauls. Isn't this pretty? It is. Don't make me lie. Which one is it? Hold on. Oh, I got the paper down here. It's the Tierra glass. It, they're sandwich glass. And they are uranium. Let's see. You probably won't be able to tell because of these lights, but no, the lights are just way too bright for you to enjoy the beauty of the glowing plates, but they glow. And I previously bought two of these from her. She had them broken up into two different sales, so I now have four, so I will be able to line them on a shelf as a backdrop for other uranium glass pieces that I want to display. They are so pretty. I love sandwich glass. I love sandwich glass. I love the heavy feel of it. I love the way the back is textured with all of the design and then the, the front is smooth. And they just have such a beautiful, beautiful color. Look, look at the pattern on this. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just such a beautiful pattern. And like I said, she had them wrapped up so well, that's why I didn't want to get out both of them. I know you trust me when I tell you they were both, both beautiful. So she wraps them in the bubble, and then she wraps them in the tissue, and then she puts paper plates between them to make sure they are. And then she's got them tied up in ribbon with her, her, her pretty on top. And the reason they're not in a box is because Beth and I live in the same town, just across town from each other. So whenever we buy things from each other, we always just hang on to them until we get to meet. And then we exchange the items then. So. Alright, this is going to be a um, sticker that I ordered. But look, it's from Katie at Vintage and Vinyl. Look at that. She seals it with a wax stamp. Oh, how very genteel of her. Very old world elegant. So let me open this up carefully so I can check out.
Um, she included a little note with it, but she says that her best friend Frank is the one that made her logo, and that is the logo that is on her sticker. Oh, let me just get it out here. I want you to see it. I'm sure everybody knows who Katie at Vintage and Vinyl is. If you don't, you need to. You need to go to Katie's channel. You need to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and just see all the wonderful things that Katie has to offer. She knows so much about records, and she has lots of videos to teach you about them. And she's doing a new, a new series called Show and Tell that I was fortunate enough to be a part of which um, about the vintage patterns that I collect. So you guys can check that out on her channel and you can also see the follow-up video here on my channel with a little bit more, you know, in-depth information about the patterns, the vintage patterns. Thank you, Katie. Thank you so much. Katie is so, is so dear to so many and helps so many people. You will find Katie not only on her chat but on just about every other chat helping in one capacity or another and she um, co-hosts with Tammy at Vintage Uprising Texas as well as Debbie at Our Vagabond Travels so you can see her there along with Debbie and Tammy on their respective channels oh no I'm hearing some hollering. I'm not sure what's going on. Give me a sec. Okay. <laughs> so, apparently, a pony just wandered into our backyard. <laughs> Every kid's dream, I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah. Whew, a pony. <laughs> we had to chase the pony down. There's the owners. Come for their pony. <laughs> <laughs> so next is oh you know what um, before I show you this item that I ordered from Maria at uh, California Thrifter I'm going to show you what she sent me as a gift she sent me these sweet little tags look at this She sent me these for Easter. Aren't these cute? These are going to be great to hang on a little uh, vision board or um, put in a assemblage or a little vignette. I just thought they were so sweet and it was so sweet of her to think of me and send those to me and I appreciate it very much. Thank you, Maria. go in this bag. I'm going to put them back in here. I don't want anything to happen to them. Okay. And this is something that I recently ordered from Maria. Sit it over here. I don't want to hit my stuff. I love this expandable wrappy thing. I got to get some of that occasionally. Usually when, when, when do I usually get it? Usually, I know what it is. It's usually when I get things from um, Walmart sent. I love this expandable wrap. I'm so bad about opening things. I'm never quite sure which way to go with it. I, I think it's the, the, the same defect that makes me um, directionally challenged as far as driving and directions and maps and things like that. It's 
me, maps are all up, down, left, or right. And if, and if they're not, they should be. And I hate when my GPS doesn't... I want to always be going this way on my GPS, you know, away. Like I'm in the car traveling, you know. I, I can't stand if my GPS is turned around some weird way. It just, it feels obnoxiously wrong. And I have to keep turning it back. Otherwise, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. And I'll tell you what. I once went through an intersection three or four times because I I make the wrong turn. I had to go down, turn around, come back, and go through the intersection. I made the wrong turn again. It go down, come back. I kid you not. I went through the same intersection three or four times because of that darn GPS not being more clear about what I was supposed to be doing. Raise your hands if you agree. Ah, uh, see hands raised. No, things like that. I, it's, it's probably because I'm, I'm a little not as young as I once was. I didn't grow up with technology, you know. Um, I'd been married for quite a while and had three kids before cell phones came into my life. I had two kids before a computer came into my life. So, uh, I should be able to get a pass on not being up to date. And, and then, when they did come, I couldn't afford all that stuff. And, I was busy raising kids. I wasn't sitting around on my phone. My children weren't even allowed to have cell phones until they were 16. Until they were 16, they, they either had to borrow somebody's cell phone to call me and tell me they needed a ride home, or they have to call, collect, and when it come time to say who was calling, it, they would say, I'm ready, come pick me up. So, my kids, my daughter, I'm ready to come pick me up. And my son, I'm ready to come pick me up. You know? Yeah. <gasps> oh. It's a jewelry box. Oh, Maria, it's, it's even lovelier than it was in the picture. Oh, look at that. Look at this, guys. I have a bunch of vintage earrings and I wanted a way to kind of store them in one spot to to see them you know as opposed to having them in a bunch of little plastic bags these are vintage clip on Joan Rivers and I think I've got some Trafari earrings so I wanted something that I could put them in so that I could see them and display them show them off and Ah, uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you, Maria. But now I'm a little confused because I only remember buying one other thing. And it's, I mean, I probably bought, yeah, I'm sure I bought it. Unless she sent me a gift, which, you know, either one of these, these scenarios are quite possible. I could have forgotten what I bought and she could have sent something extra because she's a deer. If you are not on Maria California Thrifters channel, you need to go check her out. You need to subscribe. She does live sales. Um, she does some hauls. She usually does a live sale preview. Let's see, I believe she sells on Wednesday nights and on Saturday mornings, so you have two opportunities. And she's generally very kind about um, if you plan on shopping both days, holding your your item until for one more sale. Which is what she did for me. And and that's probably, you know what? That's probably what it was. I probably bought something else on that on Saturday. And that was why there's because I bought two things on the Wednesday sale. So. I know, I'm sorry that I don't have these all open. I kind of like one that Christmas it, you know? <gasps> oh, look. 
Look at the drip glaze colors on that. Ooh, 70s, 70s. Using this in the fall and Halloween. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. Oh, love that, Maria. Thank you. Definitely love that. That is so gorgeous. All right, now, I cannot, for the life of me, remember what I bought on Saturday. What did I buy? If it's this size. What could be in a package of this size? Gosh, I don't know. Oh my goodness. I do not know. So I hope you see this is this is Tuesday. So I will probably not put this video out until Thursday or Friday so you will have it will, you will have already been to Tammy's sale on Wednesday night so hopefully you oh okay <laughs> I remember now I bought another flower frog it was a good price I forgot I forgot see On another flower frog. And it is very interesting to me the way flower frogs come here, can be so similar and yet so different. You think, why do you need another flower frog? Well, look at the difference. This one's got a nice big hole in the middle that I can put a candle in and then flowers around it. It'll fit down in my flower frog holder too. Lovely. But you know what I need now? I need a green one. That's what I want. I really want a green one. I use this one I just showed you in the stand. I use it to put my pins in. It holds my pins. And so when I get to looking for a pin, they're not hidden. They're they're all stood up and I can find them. That was what I had, what I bought that one specifically for. Thank you, Maria. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Very much as described. No, not even very much as described. They are not as, they are more beautiful than you describe them. So, excuse me. why thank you okay now this one I got from Lorianne Sugar Bridges it was a mystery box that she was selling on her um, Instagram she was dancing all around it was so cute it was just so cute she had a limited number luckily I got in on it I have no idea what's inside of it. No idea whatsoever. It could be anything. I'm, I know it's going to be wonderful, but it could be anything wonderful. There's just no telling. Okay. First thing we have is a mask. Blessed. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's so sweet. Girlfriend, this is a Ray Dunn mask. Look at that. Ray Dunn. I have a Ray Dunn mask. <laughs> I am so posh. <laughs> Let's see. We have a card. Let's see if it is suitable. Thank you so much for your purchase of Sugar Bridges. No, thank you, Sugar Bridges. Or Sassy Pants, as I like to call her. For giving me the opportunity. 
Oh, look at this bag of ephemera. <gasps> My goodness, what all is in this? Oh, this looks intriguing. Oh my, oh my, oh my. AKC, oh, that's a dog ribbon. That's a, look. <laughs> oh, my puppy dogs are winners. They won first place at the Flat River Retriever Club of Michigan. It's the Field Trials, 1973. That's super neat. And we've got old matchbooks. I have a lot of old matchbooks. Usually they're from Vegas. <laughs> Look at this one. What does this say? Marriott, Santa Barbara, the, the Biltmore. Oh my. Silverado Country Club and Resort. The Lodge at Pebble Beach. And another Silverado of a different kind. Oh. Wow. 1966. And it's written in a language I do not understand. But look. Look at that totem pole. September 1958 and was this woman surprised to have her picture taken while she was doing the dicks, dishes. I wonder if she was using Lux Flakes. In her polka dot sundress and this is Baker's Narrows MAN Manitoba it says Canada on the back, so I'm assuming that's Manitoba. Yes, look at this. Look. With the order form in it. Look, blankets and pullovers and shirts, pants, polo types. Good grief. Stretch denim slims are $249. Girls denim jeans, three nineteen. Perma press polo shirt, ninety eight cents. Cotton polo shirt, seventy nine cents. Kitties t shirts, fifty nine cents. Boys corduroy pants, ninety eight cents. My lord, and a thermal weave blanket for five sixty nine. Are they still in business? I'm going to send in my order form. Get me a dozen of each. <laughs> Rocky Shores of Lake Superior, 1960 it looks like. I've never been there. Oh, and a telephone number book. She didn't put phone numbers in here. What did she put in here? That's different. That's cool. Oh, hi ho. It's back to school we go. Look at this. September 3rd, 4th, and 5th at your co-op store. My birthday is September 3rd. <laughs> oh, Lorian, how appropriate. I don't know if you knew it, but you know, if not, then your little fingers were guided. Look at that. Look at that peanut butter for 55 cents, my lord. But look at their cute clothes. And what has she got on the back? My word, she used this for all kinds of stuff back here. All kinds of stuff. Oh, that's going to be interesting to try to decipher. But boy, I love this advertising piece. I absolutely love that. Oh, and we have two little 
pixie cupcake toppers. Look at that. Oh, I love those. I love those. Oh, and being a sewist, a quilter. Look at this wooden spool of thread. And it's the tall, skinny kind. I don't find these very often. Love it, love it, love it. Oh my goodness. That was a great start. Oh, and this box is just packed with stuff. It is just packed with stuff. And this one's heavy. Let's see if we can figure out what this is. Oh, this has been sitting over here just killing me, waiting to open it. <laughs> Oh. Oh, I think I know what this is. <gasps> oh. Look. This is for your telephone numbers. Oh, my goodness. Okay. The alphabet. You should stop it on the alphabet you want. And then. Look. And it pops open. And the papers. And the pen is here. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I could just cry. I love this so much. I've been wanting one of these and I've seen a whole bunch of them. And then see, th this page would correspond by name, last name. You'd have their phone numbers and stuff on here. I have been, I looked at these last time I was in Round Top and, it, and I couldn't aff afford any of them and none of them were that pretty. Look how beautiful this is. The silver is in perfect condition, and look at that, the star, oh my gosh, I just love this. I absolutely love this. Lorianne, that's fabulous. That is so fabulous. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Oh look, it's a vintage pin the tail on the donkey game. <laughs> It comes with a little cardboard blindfold. <laughs> oh, how good. Oh, how good. Choo Choo, the story of a little engine who ran away by Virginia Lee Burton. Oh, it's, ch it's charcoal drawings, look, that tell the story. Look at that. They're chasing after the engine. This must be Virginia Lee Burton now. For it was Virginia Lee Burton's first published book it was written for her son when he was four years old. And it is it was first written in 1937 and renewed. In 1964 so this is a 1964 look at the colors on that isn't that great my goodness what is this uh oh this is kind of uh oh Joe Camp's Benji creative world Royal Manor porcelain this have you even opened this Lorraine Good grief, I hate to... Okay, yes, it has been. Oh, it just looked like it hadn't been. I hated to open it. What's going to be in here? Oh, Benji! It's a Benji plate, y'all. Look at that. Didn't you love Benji? I remember when the first Benji movie came out. 1982. The first Benji movie came out, though, guys, in the 70s, about the mid-70s, because I remember going to the theaters to see it. Oh, Benji made you laugh. Benji made you cry. And it has its certificate of authenticity. It's the second edition of Rags to Riches, Benji and Tiffany. Ah, 
number 1613. Nice box. These don't often come in their boxes anymore. You usually just get the dishes. Okay, is it right there, Benji? Ugh. Filler paper. And what are. Oh, oh! I just peeked. I just peeked, and there's something in here that I was wanting that I was going to go buy because I just got some more of this, and I'm like, I'm going to have to break down and buy. I like to have books, and I was going to have to go and buy this book. Oh, oh, oh. What are you, you little pretty thing, and all this bubble wrap? Green bubble wrap, no less, my favorite color. Okay. You open? You're not open. Are you open? Okay. Hold on. There we go. Almost got it. Okay. Patch cutie, isn't she sweet? My daughter had a cabbage patch that looks so much like that. Let's see, 1984. My daughter was born in 83, so boy, these were the thing around then. so cute. Alright, now I gotta get this thing out that I was, I was saying I was gonna have to go and buy and look. Noritake. I love the books. I love the books. I have books on so many subjects. I just love them. Oh, and it's got back stamps. Oh my goodness. Oh, and Pictures. Oh. All the lusters. Oh my goodness. A spooner. Now I can find out what some of these things were made for. <laughs> oh. I am so happy. I seriously just got. I, and and I showed it to you guys a, a, a uh, Noritake single candlestick, and I was, and I'm just telling myself I'm gonna have to get a Noritake book. I'm gonna have to get a Noritake book, and I got a Noritake book. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, and there's oh, there's still a couple more things. I can't believe there's more stuff in here. Ginger. Shilling and Frenches. Oh my gosh. I remember my mom having these, these older tins. Good grief. I can't believe that. These make me think of my mom so much. They really do. They're going to look so cute up on my shelves. I have open shelves in my kitchen. So, I'm going to put them up there. They will look wonderful. And then what is this? This heavy thing. Look at that. I bet it's cards. I love cards. I love cards. And look at this old case. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so afraid to open it. I don't want to tear it. Oh, it's like the leather is so fragile. How can I get it open without messing? Okay, I'm just going to stick your thumbnail under it. 
It's a bridge sand. Industrial Safety Patrol from Detroit. Look, it's got the score pads. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at these cards. Look. The yellow and the brown tones. Oh, let me slide it back in its little keeper so carefully. Give me a cream one. Give me, give me, give me. And look at the green ones. They're like a uh, pale blue with a teal down the side. Oh, this is fabulous. Oh my gosh, how many people played with this? I mean, you know, I know they did because the instructions, not the instructions, but the score pad is in there. Look at this, this joker. The score pad's in there where they've been keeping score. Auction bridge. This is so interesting. What is this? Rules for gin rummy for two. So there's two decks. So yeah, you can play gin rummy. You can play. I thought you had to have four decks for bridge for. But maybe I don't know. These are pretty thick. Okay, you guys get back. It doesn't want to go back in there. That's very... Don't be that way. <laughs> you must go back in and be beautiful. Like, and you started, or I feel bad that I took you out. To look at you. Okay, I'm coaxing them back in gently. I don't... I, I don't think cussing will help. Or I would. Got it. Got it. Oh, going, going. Almost there. One, one holdout. One holdout. There's always one. Ha uh ha. -uh. Got it. Come back in. Oh, even the back is gorgeous because the back has been kind of diamond like, um, like animal skin. Look at that. Like snake skin. But this, this is leather. This is very nice. That's it. <laughs> As if that wasn't enough. Ah, uh, this is, this has been fabulous. So I've got Let's recap here. We have we have kitchen advertising items. We have the bridge and rummy cards and score cards in the beautiful leather case. And I mean really beautiful leather case. We've got the vintage book with the beautiful graphics. The pin the tail on the donkey. We've got a huge, huge look, ephemera. The cupcake toppers and the wooden spool. The cabbage patch kid little girl. She's cute. 
the Benji collector plate. The Nord Talkie book. Oh my goodness, the Nord Talkie book. And, oh, uh, look, it's, it's felted on the back so it doesn't slide. This beautiful, beautiful, beautiful telephone index. Look at, and this is for the memo. Look. There you go. The memo paper's in it and the pen. Do not move indicator arrow when cover is open. The refill in your auto decks is loose leaf. It's the Starlight. Starlight? Starflight. Wait, I can't read again. Let me see. Starflight. It's the Starflight Auto Auto Deck. Starflight Auto Decks by the Zephyr American Corporation in New York City. This is my fave. That would be the Starflight. And this is this is ribbed. This is this is so good. I'm so excited over this. Like I said, I if I sat and just oh, and the matches. If I pictures, oh my gosh! If I sit and think too long about this thing right here, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm just honestly gonna cry. Okay. Thank you, Lorianne, so much. This mystery box did not disappoint. It was a lot of fun to open and to show to everybody. I hope you do another one soon. I am on board. And you guys need to check out Lorianne Sugar Bridges on YouTube and on Instagram. She's Lorianne Sugar Bridges Sweet Stuff. Go check out old sassy pants. <laughs> She's a hoot. She is the one who makes all the lovely remakes of the movie clips with all of the um, resellers and other people on YouTube and Instagram and stuff. So Lorianne's very talented. So anyway, go check her out. Make sure you check out uh, California Thrifter Maria and Beth at Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties and Katie at Vintage and Vinyl. You will not be disappointed with any of these channels, I promise. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you're not already. Um, tell your friends to come watch. Um, hopefully they'll find something interesting that they will enjoy and I will enjoy talking to them. Please leave me a comment. I love to, I love to have comments to answer and reply to and give me a thumbs up and uh, I'll talk to you later bye guys love y'all